Hi, Ben Baldus here at Baldus Horsemanship. We're located in Gainesville, Texas. I've got my great friend Dennis Moreland here with us today, and Dennis is going to talk to us about training equipment, martingales, and really give us some valuable insights about how to use that equipment. Thank you, Ben. Anytime we ride a snaffle bit, we always ride a brow band headstall for safety and function. It holds the bit in position, it keeps the head stall on the horse. I've had some situations, Dennis, where I'm kind of asking them to whoa and pull it on my head stall and it's coming up over their ears too if they're shaking their head. That's an uncomfortable place to be. Very uncomfortable, but it's not gonna happen with a brow band and throat latch. Another little safety tool is the ring rain stop. This prevents the ring of the martingale from ever hanging up, and it it's a very inexpensive piece of equipment that could save your life. Anytime those horses feel trapped in the training, they feel like they're stuck, they resort to that natural instinct to either fight it or flight to run off. And talking about keeping us safe as you're training, that's a great tip to help your reins from getting stuck up by your where you tie your strings to it or getting hung up, because safety is the most important part about what we're doing. Right. We're set up here with a training fork. This is one that I really like to use. It helps me slow my hands down and give me a consistent feel. So as I'm training, and strictly young horses, two and three year olds, picking my hands up, you'll notice if she were to resist this pressure and come up with her head and neck, that the training fork is gonna be engaged. This can help to give her a proper headset it's also going to help me to use my hands correctly. So if I have a tendency as we're training to get my hand out here kind of wild, you'll notice my rein is brought back to the center. It's brought back to a place of control and a place of consistency to where it always has the same feel. So if I'm asking her to soften her head and neck, the training fork helps to give me a consistent feel and a consistent softness with this horse, building those really good habits. The only thing about a training fork when you get off and go to lead them off, if you don't wrap this rein around the saddle horn, it will drop to the ground. When you're riding, it works just the same as all martingales. But, and a lot of people use it, it's simple, it's easy, but if you're leading a horse off, it can drop down. This is our string martingale, and it's the same as a training fork, except it has a neck strap. And it's also got a safety strap. The safety strap, the hobble goes under the gullet and over the horn. And you'll never ever hit it with your hand. If you go straight from here to the horn, you'll hit it every time you move. But it prevents, we're asking a horse to put their head down. When it, if you don't have that, the neck strap will run up to their ears and they're trapped and bad things can happen. I've been there one time, I was riding a two-year-old out across the little creek and he put his head down to smell the water and I was letting him and just like that right there, my training deal ran up over his head and I was stuck and his head was stuck down outside like that. And it was uncomfortable. And he, they, they get to panicking and it's just, it's just a training fork with a neck strap on it. But uh, it's got a little, little safety when you get off to go through a gate or whatever, you don't have to worry about it falling to the ground. Talking about our safety strap that holds our neck piece back towards the saddle horn. We're gonna go underneath the gullet, and around the back side, up over your saddle horn. You notice as I'm pulling it, it's getting tighter. Now it's loose enough that she can move her head comfortably through training, but my training fork won't slip forward up around her pole, getting me in a bad situation. You sometimes see people just loop it over the top of the saddle horn and it can bounce off if you're loping circles or going on the fence if you put it here. So it's important to go under and then back over the horn to keep it all down low and to keep it tight. This is our adjustable leather martingale. It's got a neck strap down to the cinch and then each one of the ring straps is adjustable. So if you're riding a big variety of horses or if you want to put it on an older horse that's a whole lot bigger than your two-year-old, you can adjust it. 
to where it'll fit about anything. It also has the safety hobble. And Dennis, one thing that I've done on the adjustable ones from time to time, this is gonna sound a little crazy, but I'll take one shorter and leave one longer. And if I have a situation where particularly I'm running and stopping a horse, and they tend to always brace on one side, like so maybe say on the left side, I'm running and asking this horse to stop, and they're always braced on the left side. Well, I'll take that left side martingale shorter. Okay. Okay, to where when I pick my hands up, it's a little bit extra pressure on the one side. My hands are even. Keep them straighter. Keeping them straighter, but that martingale's a little bit tighter on one side, and that's gonna help me in my training keeping that horse straight. So it's kind of a neat way that you can use the adjustable martingale. This is our, what we call a California martingale. You'll notice the rings are on the side of the neck. It fits around the neck like a pulling collar. It's still got the safety hobble and down to the cinch, but no matter where, where your hands are, it still pulls straight back as you were pulling up the creases in your blue jeans. Like you're talking about in that training, Dennis, just helping us get that horse straight, their body lined up, and no matter if we use our hands close to the horse or out here to the side, that helps us get that horse straighter and more broke and more collected using these different training tools. Ben, we sure appreciate you having us here today and furnishing a great model and helping us with the martingales and how they work. For more tips and to take a look at some of the country's finest handmade tack, log on to dmtac.com.